Hello, hello guys, how is it going? My name is Fawzen and welcome back to our Fawzencraft survival multiplayer Minecraft series. Things are ramping up on the server. We are taking on a lot of projects all at the same time and today is going to be no different. I have some seriously ultimate plans. In a previous episode, we actually terraformed this upper disc of the base, adding a cliff and a bunch of nifty things, including these farms right here. And last episode, we actually went and added another entire disc down here. This mega base is really starting to take shape. I am loving it. And you guys, we also started an enchanted bookstore. And I don't know if we should be worried or not that I actually said that with so much hesitation, even though I am the owner of the shop. Now this is far from complete. I want to get a bunch more decoration on this, but I do not know if that is happening today. But regardless, we do have the name for this store. We are going to be calling it Kit fit and I love it. And if you guys are wondering why on earth we're actually calling it Kit fit, have no fear. Fawzen's explanation is here. Basically, we have loads, and I mean loads of maxed out enchanted books because of those snazzy gentlemen in the monocles over there. <laughs> those aren't monocles, those are glasses. But regardless, we are going to be selling enchanted books in kits, and people are going to be paying them for an entire barrel, and there's going to be really awesome prices, and we might have tools in there, and who knows, I am excited for the plan, but basically, Army Boy suggested that we actually make it named Kitfit. To say the least, I love it, and another thing we're actually going to mention in regards to Army Boy is actually he is the moderator of my Discord server. That is right. If you guys have not heard already, I have a Discord server, and if my brain, <laughs> if my brain serves me properly, I will be adding a link down in the description for you guys to join. It is an awesome community. We have artists, we have builders, and we have redstoners, and we are keeping up a positive community. So of course, if that interests you, definitely do drop by down below and check it out. And I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Fawzen, you are all chat today let's get on with the episode and we will for sure be doing that right this instant because where I'm standing you guys might not actually recognize this this was where Steve Foz's base was his house was down there where that birch forest now is and this was a red beacon beam before he actually decided he probably will not be playing on the server very much so we took down all of the stuff around this base that did not fit in right around spawn just because it did not look the best right near our shop. And not only did we actually tear down everything around this base, we time lapsed it. There is no way that Fawzen is going to be doing something incredibly satisfying involving the destruction of buildings and not time lapse it. Before we jump into that, look at these chests. These chests are filled to the brim with actually everything that was in Steve Fawzen's base, and I have never seen more chaotic chests in the game of Minecraft in all my years of playing, and that is saying something. There is a serious quantity of things in these chests, and Steve Fawz has kindly said that if after a Month, he still is not playing on the server that we will be able to claim these items as our own But for now, we're gonna leave them just in case he changes his mind So now let's let our voices drop as we get into this chill Vibe time-lapse music and once we are done We are going to be going to the nether because I had some failed attempts there earlier And we are doing a serious cluster of massive farms that will allow us to have a monopoly on stone blocks So like I said, let's Hit this time lapse!
gosh, I loved that. That was amazing. I had a blast returning this land to its natural state with trees and forests and grass and stuff. But like I mentioned, we are now going to be heading into the nether. But before we do, let's actually talk about what my plans are because I have some interesting things I want to be doing there. <laughs> If you could pause the video right now and look at this large chest of items and tell me exactly what we're going to be doing, oh my goodness, I would, I, I would applaud you because <laughs> you would be a master of puzzle solving. Regardless, we're going to take a peek in here and this is actually my master nether plan. So it begins over here. If you take blue ice and lava, you can actually generate basalt. Now, we're going to head over to Speeve's base because both A, I want to show you his base and B, he has one of these. Ah, Speeve, the man is a madman. Check out this mansion, like, oh my goodness, this is going to be a beautiful build when it's completed. But regardless, we are heading over to this tiny little hole in the ground because this is Speeve's Basalt Generator. Now, we can actually do something very, very similar to this. We are taking ice, we are taking lava, and we are generating basalt like nobody's business. I'm now actually regretting not putting these items in a shulker box because I had to fly all the way back here. But anyway, yeah, the next step is the gold. We are going to be building a gold farm and trading with piglins, with their piglin bartering to get both quartz and blackstone so we can sell Polished blackstone. Nope, nope. Words are hard. Words are hard. We can sell polished basalt and basalt and all of the blackstone variants. And then what we can do is we can actually do this. We can not only have a basalt generator, but we can have a cobblestone generator in the nether with us. And then what we can do is we can mix the nether quartz with the cobblestone. And if you guys don't know what that does, I want to show you right now. If you take cobblestone and you take quartz, look at what you get. So, I know, I know, diorite, nah, that, that is a disgusting block, but if we come back over here, you can take cobblestone and quartz and make diorite, then you can take diorite and quartz and make granite, but you can also take cobblestone and diorite, and if you do that, you get, hold on, you get andesite. <laughs> I for sure didn't have that memorized. So yeah, I know what you guys are thinking. Fawzin, you are a genius, but wait, there's more. We can actually take cobblestone and make a bamboo farm, and we can get stone. So we have a monopoly on all of the stone blocks. We're going to be selling stone and all of its variants and cobblestone and diorite, and oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I did actually make that sound a little bit simpler than it actually is. We are going to be having to build a bunch of farms, and it is probably going to take a very long time, but I I want to get a move on and start today. Oh, look at that sunset. Ooh, it's so pretty. Now that we've established that we are going to be straight rolling in all these blocks, let's actually head over to Speeve's base because I am loving his mansion. I'm sure you guys are loving it too, and I really want to give him a gift. So let's go and check out what blocks he is using and see if we can't give him an ultimate gift. Using my excellent observation skills, I have conducted a detailed analysis on Speed's face. No, I actually just looked in these shulker boxes over here. It looks like he needs some glass panes, also smooth stone, stone, light gray concrete, also some terracotta, soul lanterns, and a bit of blackstone, but the man is rolling in blackstone. I noticed that just the other day, he actually tore down an entire mansion. So, the mansion, no, he's building a mansion out of the bastion he tore down. So I'm thinking, let's go grab some stone bricks, let's grab some stone, let's grab some smooth stone, and let's actually go and get him some light gray dye. We are back at this base, and the reason we're back at this base, it is our start base, is because down below I have a bunker made entirely out of stone bricks, and if I'm not much mistaken, I have a bunch left, but can we take a moment to appreciate this room? I spent a lot of time on it and I just love it. Oh yeah, who was right? Fawzen was right. Oh, but you know what? I just came in here and I checked in our cactus farm and we can totally give him some cactus as well because I have an insane amount, guys, okay? I have an amount that no normal human being should ever have. Like, this is a ridiculous amount of cactus. Anyway, we're gonna grab him a bunch because I know cyan dye, regardless of what you're using it for, is beautiful in building because cyan terracotta, that's, that's just the stuff, guys. That's the stuff. Oh, and that diamond armor? Yeah, I just... 
I just found some random diamond armor in there. I, I gotta not leave stuff lying around. <laughs> well, I guess actually with the amount of end rating we did, we didn't really even need those. But regardless, we are here and I'm gonna get the gifts for him. So we are gonna do stone, stone bricks in here, stone in here. Then we also need smooth stone and cactus. And then also I guess some blue dye. And then what was the other one? Oh yeah, light gray dye. Not to mention that this shop is making some serious cash money. Bye bye lapis lazuli. Oh no, and I've just had a hilarious idea. So, I, I don't know what it's called. Imagine Lem came up to me flying way up in the sky and he dive bombed on my head with a bunch of papers that said subscribe to Lem. Is that, is that called subscribe bombing? Regardless, regardless. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that to speed, but instead of... <laughs> Instead of telling him to subscribe to Fozzin, which you guys should totally do, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm actually gonna tell, a, I'm gonna put down a bunch of things that say subscribe to see Speeve, subscribe to Speeve. <laughs> This is gonna be awesome. We are in the final phase of getting this gift together for Speed. We are grabbing the andesite, and if you're wondering where I got all of these blocks from, these actually came from this slime farm right here, and this thing is crazy. I'm actually gonna turn on the hitboxes, and you can see there is slime constantly coming up that tube. This farm is mad. I, I mean, I feel like that is really hard to miss, so if, if you read left or right, subscribe to Steve. <laughs> Seriously, just do it. Swaba do da day scribe. Oh, hey, Fawzen says hello. <laughs> that is perfect. And seriously, if that is not a gift and a half, I do not know what it is. And especially this right here, that is a lot of ink sacks. And if you don't have a squid farm, ink sacks hurt to get. Operation Swaba Daba Doo Da Day Scribe is a go. <laughs> I feel like that was a successful, <laughs> that was a successful and useful usage of our time. Now let's head back to the mega base. I'm going to drop off some shulker boxes. Then we might, we might start planning for the nether. Oh, Ha! No, got you. Made you think we were gonna work on those awesome farms. Man, I am I am having a really, really fun time <laughs> making you guys wait for those nether farms. But anyway, yeah, I do want to get those done later on today. But I think right now, let's actually go through these enchantments and figure out which kits we want and name them. I've got the enchantments all picked out and everything is fine, but I just put myself in this box and I didn't bring a pickaxe. <laughs> I suppose the positive and not the con is that I didn't use something silly like obsidian, but regardless, here are our boxes. Now, I thought I was going to be all witty and smart and come up with the best names ever. I, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't come up with very good names at all, so maybe we do need to name these kits down in the description. But regardless, we have Efficiency 5, and Breaking 3, Mending, and Fortune. That is the high roller. The same thing with Silk Touch, Dreamy, and Creamy. And then just this fast and, well, fast. Down below, we have the Helmet. So this is Protection 4, Unbreaking 3, Mending, and Thorns, which all the armor has, as well as Respiration 3 and Aquafinity. Then we have the normal stuff, and then Feather Falling 4 and Death Starter 3. Those are for the boots. That is what I am rocking right here. And then also the stuff for the Elytra. And then right here is for the sword. Now the sword has so many enchantments. <laughs> it has a ridiculous amount of enchantments. Sharpness 5, Unbreaking 3, Mending, Sweeping Edge 3, Fire Aspect 2, Knockback 2, Fire Aspect 2, did I put Fire Aspect 2 twice? Yes, I did. Okay, so apparently it has less enchantments than I thought, but yeah. So <laughs> this is the sword right here, and these are the bows. Now, there are actually gaps because I am missing Power 5, and that is basically the most important bow enchantment, but regardless, we are going to be getting that. Right here, we have Infinity, Bane of Arthropods 5, Loyalty, Power 5, Channeling, Smite 5, Impaling 5, and Riptide 3. Those are the enchantments that I still need to get from these villagers. Of course, I was getting it when I was cycling through them, but I wanted to make sure that I had these base ones before I got, you know, the trident or <laughs> things we don't really need, like Bane of Arthropods. So now that we have these all named, labeled, I think... I think Speeve's base and the reason we are actually here at Speeve's base is because he is sneaking around in the forest. Look at that man <laughs> He is being a little bit spooky. So Speeve, how are you doing today? <laughs> I am doing well. How about you? Oh, I am doing good So I was thinking that right now we would actually take a look at each other's base You could show me what you have going on and I could show you what I have That sounds excellent 
<laughs> I wanted to see how long that lasted. But, but regardless, yeah, so what do you want to show me? What are the neat and nifty parts of your base? Um, so kind of in this... Oh, I did not mean to fall down there. <laughs> it's actually modeled off of something from immersive engineering. You can't see too much of the inside of it, but it's somewhat decorated. Okay. It more just looks like part of a hill out nice. of wood. <laughs> and if we go over here, this is pretty much just decoration now i don't really do much in this area anymore i do have these animals here i don't think i've ever done anything with them though i just sort of have them because <laughs> i love the decoration here i remember when you first built this i actually ran around in this forest for a bit because i loved how much it, <laughs> it looked <laughs> oh yeah that was fun i'm actually gonna be probably after this tour of your base and my base i'm gonna be expanding some stuff in this direction building some interesting things that my viewers and you will get to see in today's episode oh excellent here is just the entrance to the underground area of my mega base whoa i didn't see that you worked on the back so much wow i've got about half of the back done and i still need to do more of it but uh, i think in the last episode of the episode before that i just got a bunch of it done this is looking amazing. Yes, auto harvesting bamboo farm that fuels the super smelter, but it only will actually harvest at nighttime. Like there's a big clock circuit down there and it only is actually enabled at nighttime. Oh yeah, I think I so think I saw this in the episode for the bamboo to grow. Was it every second night or every night? It's probably roughly depending on if people sleep, it's usually harvest about once maybe every second night or something. Oh, nice. So, I suppose when I'm actually on the server, it doesn't harvest very often. <laughs> nah, but that, that, it, it still works out pretty well because it, that, it just has extra time to grow and everything. Oh, yeah. It makes sense. It makes sense. Oh, I remember when you built this. I walked in this room, and I just thought, man, this is the prettiest thing I've ever seen in Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> I spent a long time designing this in creative mode before I built it here. Oh, yeah. But I'm glad I worked on it in creative because I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Mm-hmm, you should be. And Aurora, I think, is loving this cold, st stone, black floor. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think our stream chat one time picked the name Aurora. Nice. Hello, Aurora. And then this... there's just the uh, front wall of the mansion here, and this thing still has to extend, like, another 50 blocks on both sides, so I have a lot more work before the front is even partially done. <laughs> It is looking amazing, though. I love these but windows. I did notice when I logged on this very generous donation down here of shulker boxes. <laughs> oh, hey, Bazza says, hello. Swaba do day day. Swaba do da day scribe. <laughs> All right. That's definitely way better than I was pronouncing it. Well, thank you very much for <sighs> this generous donation. It will definitely make a lot of this building easier, especially this smooth stone. <laughs> yeah, I saw this base and I thought, hmm. You know what I can do? I can help Spivo with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I think that's about all for my base at the moment. Just perfect. a giant chest monster over here, or shoulder box monster. <laughs> well, do you want to head over to mine? Sure. Perfect. And for anybody who is watching this right now, if you want to see a tour of my base, you are going to have to head over to that gentleman's video right over there because... <laughs> Steve is going to be showing off my base in his video, and I'm going to be showing off his base in mine. So want to head over there right now? Sure thing. Perfect, let's go. Now that was great. I loved hanging out with Steve. He has a really cool base going for himself, and I just love being able to go around with other server members and just record with them. But regardless of us chatting with Steve, we're going to be going over into the outer end cities. And the reason for that is I actually want to get two more elytras. Now the reason for that is I do have a spare elytra. But you know, when it comes to elytras, the more the merrier. And of course, we'll be getting shulker box as well not to mention the fact that we might even get some more diamond armor that we can sell in our shop so let's go head over to those end cities and see if we can't get lucky oh guys look it we got a ship <laughs> oh, oh this is this is amazing is it oh look it it's not even looted this is perfect this is exactly what I need thank you luck and we weren't even here for very long at all this is this is fantastic 
And these guys at the top are so annoying. I hate them. Neat. So I got rid of the iron gear and also the diamond gear that was cursed. So we got a helmet, a chest plate, another helmet, and some pants. That will do nicely for our shop, not to mention the elytra. So let's see if I can't find a few others. I've just been flying around blindly. I've gone through way too many rockets already. So I think I came from like that direction or something. So let's just keep flying that way. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie at all, this end trip could not have gone any better. We got two elytras, we now have three whole spares, three spares, that is amazing. I don't think we're ever gonna run out, and we also got a bunch of diamond gear. Now we are gonna unenchant this diamond gear and sell it in our shop, I'm excited for that, and... <laughs> <laughs> Not only do we get a bunch of shulker shells, additionally, this tiny tower actually has the end gateway portal next to it. So we have gone way far out into the end, just flying randomly, but now we just get to swoop into this portal, throw an ender pearl, and... Miss? Yeah, miss, I guess. And I promise, I promise, once I've done unenchanting these gear, we actually came back from this bed, so we have all of our enchantments ready to put on these elytras. But I, I, I promise, we're going to go to the nether after this. We are going to go to the nether. I have found the location that we are going to be putting my giant apparatus. And oh yeah, that is, that is coming up next. I am hyped. Oh yeah, I am just loving these boxes. Look in here, we have all of our spare gear. This is what's gonna keep us alive if we die. And also our extra wings. Then right here is our gear. Now this is all from <laughs> this is all from end busting. <laughs> and also this as well. We have we have more shulkers than we will ever ever need so yep I would call that a success now the two biomes that actually work for gold farms are the crimson forest biomes and also the nether wastes now I think the crimson biome is actually a little bit better if you're using magma blocks for the spawning but I mean <laughs> so this is in the nether wastes biome but I cannot even believe the luck that is happening here look at this area Basically, everything is spawn-proof. There is hardly a single block down here where stuff can spawn. And I actually came here a little while ago and tried to break that piece of bedrock. Things did not go well. Things did not go well. But regardless, I believe that this is the place where we are going to be building our nether farm. <laughs> oh, it is looking... It is looking amazing down here. I think I'm going to punch a hole in the... In the... It, I was going to say the netherrack. We... We can punch holes in the netherrack with our fists. No, we're going to punch a hole in the bedrock. The first step that we are going to be taking is to endanger ourselves physically. Let's light these bad boys up. <laughs> and I think we are going to do that block right there because if we break that singular block, we will be on the roof. We don't need to break any more than one block. But over here, I think it's somewhere, is my failed attempt. And you can see that I didn't do a very good job. There was like a, there was like a weird nook or something. Yeah, right there. That's what I did. I broke that and I was like, oh. <laughs> so we are going to be destroying that bad boy right there. When I was saying I had failed attempts, I seriously mean I had failed attempts. I just could not get my coordinates right. And even over here, things were done improperly. Like I mentioned, there's that really janky hole right there. But yes, we do have a proper spot now. And this is the setup. Now, this is actually from a tutorial by a Minecraft player called Razeworks. But I'm going to be flicking this lever. And when I do, I have to place a piston right here that is facing downwards. So we are going to be doing that. We're going to be coming up in here. And we're going to see if we can blow up this bedrock. So I'm going to do the thing. Get ready, oh my goodness, right here, and hopefully, hopefully, that this actually broke the bedrock. Now it's facing upwards, and that, yes, oh, first try, oh, I'm so happy about that. This block right here is actually one of the new 1.16 quartz blocks that came out, and I love the way it mixes with this bedrock texture that we have going on here. So I'm going to be keeping this vibing right there. Once we start getting a bunch more quartz from Piglin Barter, we are of course going to deck out that room. I want it to be bright. I want it to be white. And I want it to have like a bunch of those warp woods in it. But I think right now, my plan is to get this 
gold farm built. It is going to take a lot of time, and I am prepared to hit the grind. So I will be working as quickly as I can to have an entire gold farm built up. And we are going to be time-lapsing this, but I am super sorry that today we have run out of time. And although we did get a bunch of things done, I was kind of hoping that we could start on this gold farm. Apparently, some things in life are too good to be true. But regardless, I have been incredibly pleased with what we got done today. We went to the end. We got a bunch more elytras. We named our shop. <laughs> we did so many things. So, I believe that this is the perfect time for us to stop today. So, if you did enjoy the video, do leave a like down below. I would love to hear whether you enjoyed it or not. And, of course, if you are loving the series, then subscribe to the channel for more episodes and more Minecraft content. But I believe that right now, it is going to be bye for now for me, guys. Adios!